with having my little girl here. She's less than a week old. You might be able to see her. She's down there. She's strapped to my chest and getting some skin to skin time. And well, dad's still here to make a video. So the main thing I've learned in the first week of having her is that I've had a lot of my own problems for a lot longer than I ever imagined. My mom told me a really good story and uh, it reminded me seeing my daughter do some of these things after she's just been born of kind of how she acts and seeing that I basically went through my life behaving like a big baby until fairly recently, until about a year ago when I asked for help and started trying to live a better way of life. And my mom told me a story that really highlights that. So my daughter here, her name's Madeline. I'm blessed to be a dad and I don't have a shirt on because she likes skin to skin time. My wife's sleeping right now. So this is one of the only times I've had to make a video. It's nice and peaceful and quiet. It's about 10 o'clock and I'm just doing my best. I'm doing what I have the chance to do. I welcome your feedback. If you prefer a shirt on or something, if you prefer not having the baby here, well, let me know if you think it's cool and I should do more, let me know and I'll take that into account. My mom told me a great story it's inspired by listening to my daughter. When I was my daughter's age, I was ravenous with feeding. My mom said I wanted to eat every anywhere from an hour to three or four hours all day around the clock. She said she'd never imagined a baby eat so much that her my grandmother, who my mom was living with, she said that if she had had a baby like me, she wouldn't have had five kids. So I was a baby right from the start who just wanted as much as I could get. And I wanted my own way. My mom breastfed me for the first few months of my life. And then she tried to feed me with a bottle with breast milk one day. And while I normally fed every few hours, she said I held out for eight hours, screamed and cried and was miserable. I held out for eight hours because I wanted that breast milk straight from the source. I didn't want to try anything new. I did not want to be bottle fed. I didn't trust whatever she was trying to give me. I wanted what I'd been getting and I wanted more of it. And I was stubborn and obstinate even as a little baby. Now a reasonable person or baby in that situation wouldn't have starved themselves and went on a little hunger strike. They would have at least tried the bottle to see how it was. I went on behaving that way most of my life and I didn't want to try anything new. It all happened in one form or another over and over and over again. A new possibility would come up in my life and I'd be too afraid of it. I'd say no, I'd hold out. There'd be an easy solution for a problem I was having and I'd say no, I can do this myself. I've been doing it just fine. I don't need any help. I like what I'm doing and I'm not willing to try anything new. I'm willing to suffer right where I am instead of hoping that doing something new might be a little easier. That's how I lived most of my life. And I was amazed when she told me that even as a baby, I behaved just about the same as I did the rest of my life. That obstinance, that no, 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 no. I want what I want and I want my way and I'm going to have it and I'm going to fight you over it. I'm going to fight my own mother when I'm an infant over whether she's going to breastfeed me or not. The miracle with that is to know that a lot of the problems you've been having, a lot of the struggles you've had in your life, they may have been going on a lot longer than you ever would have imagined. And th that gives you hope that if you get to really see the depth of some of the things you've been struggling with, then you don't have to keep doing it anymore. And my daughter's taught me that. She flails around and she's only a week old and yet she's very, she's very certain about what she wants at times. She knows she wants to be fed and she wants it and she wants it right now and she's going to cry and scream and go crazy if she doesn't get it. And she's getting a little revved up right now so I try and bounce to keep her comforted. And life very much as an infant has a lot in common of growing up. We think that we're making all this progress. We think that we're really doing better. And yet when my mom told me that story, how much better have I really done almost my entire life? 
almost everything I came across. I took the exact same approach. No, I'm going to starve myself because I'm not trying that new bottle. I went and got a massage one day, and before that, I just had an obsession with alcohol. I didn't want to drink anymore, and yet I didn't know what else to do when I was feeling bad. And I finally went and got a massage. I went and did something good to relieve some stress. And I was amazed at the fear I had. I was terrified to go get a massage. I was barely less terrified of going to try something new than I was to go in the liquor store and try the same old thing I'd done a thousand times before that had brutalized me and all the people around me. And yet, I was just only slightly less afraid to go try something new than to do the same old thing again that had hurt me so many times. And looking back at that baby story, it makes perfect sense. And when I went in to get a massage, it was like the old me died and realized, wow, I can be so much more than I've been since I was born. I can face new things. I can take help from people. I don't have to scream and cry and whine when I'm miserable. I don't have to flail around and bang on things and scream and make myself miserable just because I'm a little hungry or because I'm craving a drink or because I have some other kind of desire that's not being fulfilled. My daughter, when she's hungry, she screams and flails and cries and gets mad and goes nuts because she wants food and she wants it right now. And hey, She's just like I've been most of my life. And I'm thankful to have the chance to learn from her. It's amazing looking in her eyes. She's just as much fully there. She's 100% there. She's just as alive as I am. She doesn't have to grow up or do anything to be as alive as I am. She's completely there right now. And that shows me I have as much to learn from her as she has to learn from me. She's helping me better understand myself already within a week of her own life. And I'm honored you've spent this time with us here today. She's getting a little uneasy now. And I love her so much. I love her however she is. And I try to love myself the way I love my daughter. I love changing my daughter's diapers. It's an honor because I'm there to help her. So why shouldn't I love when I have to deal with the negative thought I have? Why shouldn't I love it when I go and crap on something in my life? Why shouldn't I go clean it up with the same love I go clean my daughter up when she does the same thing? And then to see that, oh, in some ways, I do have to go to the bathroom, that's for sure, but there's a nice way to do it where it doesn't make a mess. When I go about life and I'm frustrated and I'm angry, there's ways I can deal with my feelings where I don't make a mess. I can do things neat and orderly, and I can show I can be different than when I was an infant. I don't just have to crap my feelings all over everyone the way I'd done the most of my life before this. So I pray today that I learn from my daughter. I learn from her. And I pray that I lead by example, that I show her what I want her to learn instead of tell her. That I act, I be the person that I want her to learn from. And that I do do as I do and never as do as I say. And I pray that you have the same opportunities today with whoever's in your life. So thank you very much for watching this. I'm honored you're here. It's been a week since I made a video as I went through with my wife giving birth and our new daughter. And I love you guys and I appreciate especially you that you've watched all of this all the way to the end. I really appreciate you. And that's why I just jump up here and do something just to give you something. I know it means a lot to me when the people I follow just give me a little something honestly in their life. And so I value your feedback and I hope you have a great day today.